Hi everyone, it's Jodie here. How are you all? Um, I started this oh, a while ago. I was just looking at um, one of my journals. It's the journal that has sort of like a all my um, <laughs> supplies. Yes, that's what it has in it. Sorry, I go a bit brain dead at times. Um, so I I started off with a picture on this page but I hated it so I've just painted over it with gesso and I thought I know what so it sort of started off using my Caran d'Ache um, watercolour crown so I laid um, as I said I went over the page with gesso and then oh, I've also used gesso to mix the Caran d'Ache and um, just it's just sort of playing. That's uh, so. This journal has quite a few different sort of things in it. Um, it was probably one of my be my second journal I started. Um, it's got some good stuff in it, and it's got some terrible stuff in it. But you know, that's what journals are for. It's uh, just to somewhere safe to go and I mean I've had, I had a good time painting the girl but uh, later on you'll see I was doing some butterflies now I haven't edited this video I've the length of it is even though it's sped up eight times I haven't taken out any boring bits or I think there was only one bit I took out when I was trying to find a um, a reference to help me with these jolly butterflies because as I said I had no end of trouble with those I didn't want to do realistic butterflies but I wanted them to look um, right if you could say that I don't know if right's the right white right I don't know if right is the right word more I wanted them to look pleasing to the eye and as I said, I seem to have quite a lot of difficulty with it. I ended up painting them in, and then I kept trying to do dots on them, which, well, it just didn't look right. I don't know what I was, why, but I couldn't get it to look right, so I kept getting rid of them. Um, quite often I've used water just to take things back to where you know, to take off a few layers, and if that uh, failed, then it was out with the gesso and try again. So, um, yeah, so I've sort of, as you can see here, I'm still using the Caran d'Ache, keep putting in layers. I've used basically the salmon and also a okra and a lavender. Was it a violet or a lilac? Or was it, yeah, for the shadowed areas. And uh, a bit of gesso to help blend it all in. Thought she turned out quite good. I like like the face. Yeah, um, but as I said, the butterflies were the, what were causing me quite a bit of grief because I had to get the angles right so now I know what I need to practice for fruit for the future is um, butterflies so not only do I have to practice everything else I've like hair hair is another thing I have trouble with always practicing hair practice butterflies a turned face was something that I was constantly practicing because I I don't know what was going wrong with hair it could have been the nose or the chin I'm a lot happier with my turned faces now, so practicing it works most of the time, except for when you haven't practiced for a while and then you go and try it again and you end up back to square one, but at least you sort of can get up to speed again a bit quicker than what you generally could before. Uh, I might um, stop talking now, because as I said, all I've done is use the Caran d'Ache and oh okay I'll just talk about what I have used 
as I have continued. So the base of the hair, the face, and this whole page is Karen Dash, and I've I have a thirty pack of the neo neo color water soluble cut crayons. So I've got thirty of those, and um, I am doing that. That this in my it's a Strathmore mixed media journal. It sizes what is it? It's about what, eight eight and a half inches or maybe twenty two centimeters by eight and a half inches by five and a half inches or twenty two centimeters by fourteen centimeters. And uh, it's nearly full up. I think I've only got two, two more pages to go. And if I get it all full, I might do a flip through. Uh, like I said, it's there's a couple of my really favourite pictures in there, like the one that's on I use as the cover of my YouTube channel. I still love this picture of the girl floating in the sky and um, and then I did a sun one as well which isn't too bad but there's some terrible ones in here that are way back when I first started painting and I didn't get things right when it's funny how when you look back you can see we you know you've gone wrong and you can see it it just sticks out so much but when you're, you're learning and you look at it and you think oh that's come out pretty good you know you're quite happy with it because I think as you get um, the more you do the more your eye is trained so you're you can see where you've gone wrong so um, yeah it's quite funny okay and as I was saying the other things that I've used on this was uh, once all the Karen Dash had dried off I left it and I have gone in then with my Tombow markers. I have a collection of Tombow markers and um, I really enjoy these because they're just like watercolours, uh, basically similar to the Zig water, um, Zig, what are they, oh I haven't got any of the Zig ones but I, I think they're brush pens they call them and the Tombows are the same, they're brush pens and they have brush pen one end and a fine nib the other and I enjoy playing around with those I haven't actually done anything with the Tombos for a long time but I'd built up a collection I'd get a couple you know go to the art shop and I'd grab a few wait for the sales and grab a few so basically that's what I have used so of, um, you don't want to let any wet gesso or anything like that with the Tombos you want to rub them off. I think I also used a couple of my Faber-Castell pit pens because they're not water soluble but you can get them to move a little bit if you're quick. And then lastly I went in with my Prismacolors but because I had put so many different layers on in places when I used the Prismacolor it actually took the paint off. So like I said I I'm, I hope you can't hear my tummy, but my tummy's giggling an awful lot, but anyway. Uh, so yes, I had used the prism colours over the top of some of the places that I, I think on that big purple butterfly up the top there. I'd taken it off and put it on, taken off, put it on, and then when I went and put the prism colour over the top, it took paint off. So, plus because I was using the... Um, white pen. What is it? It's the Sharpie and I think the Sharpie it's not a matte it's, so it was just maybe if I had left the picture for quite a while before I went over the top you know a day or two it might not have done it but anyway it took the paint off so that's all right I just um, went back in with a white pen and fixed it up. Um, I'm going to stop here, stop talking, because basically I've explained everything. 
and um, yeah, I'll add some music if if I can. Okay, thanks for watching, and um, I hope I've inspired you, and I hope you've got something out of the fact that you know, don't give up, keep going. I walk away from it, come back, put some gesso over your mistake, try again, just keep keep plugging away at it, and you'll get it to a point that you're happy with. And um, okay, so thanks again, and I'll catch you all another day. Bye. Thank you.